Lisa Friday, a wild horse adopter, entered the BLM short-term holding facility only to be warned that there is manure up to your knees. I have substituted the word manure for what she was really told. Despite this warning, Lisa was unprepared for what she saw. Animals that had no dry place to lay down, or those that had trouble walking in a urine-soaked quagmire of mud and manure. That horse has been laying down since we got here. Hasn't moved. The downed mare is clearly being defended by the gray horse. The gray sniffs her friend and lays her ears back at a horse we can't see off to the right. Lisa reports seeing 30 horses laying down and not moving in the mud during her three-hour visit. According to BLM, this emaciated-looking mare is a three-year-old captured in Nevada in July of last year. Eight months later, this is her condition. It's the only baby I see. Lisa was told that there were pregnant mares in the facility. When she asked why she didn't see any babies, the BLM indicated there was one born, but changed the subject when Lisa asked to see it. Lisa noticed a wound on this buckskin filly that looked deep and infected. BLM indicated that the horse was treated the day before, but that it was just a skin injury. Definitely limping. When they are captured and incarcerated, America's wild horses and burros lose what they value most, their freedom and their families. They should not also be forced to suffer the abuse we see in this video report. To report cases of wild horse and burro abuse, BLM officially recommends contacting the local BLM office. A copy of Lisa Friday's complete report is available from the Cloud Foundation.